Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's do the review of this Unified Dream Machine Wi-Fi router. And this is a premium high-end Wi-Fi router, guys. This is not a normal sort of a router. And if you uh, know, Unify actually makes uh, Wi-Fi routers for enterprises and business. For example, um, you must have actually seen these circular type of uh, access points. These are actually unified. And uh, this is the dream machine. This is a new uh, model that they have. It's not technically new. It was launched almost six months ago. Uh, and this is basically for powerful home users and small businesses. It actually uh, has a lot of features of their enterprise uh, uh, stuff like their cloud key, uh, managed, what do you say, uh, uh, gigabit uh, uh, ports uh, then also have they have the unify solution uh, so I actually have now been testing this for the last 40 days and I'll let you guys know what do I like about it but first let me actually talk about the two cons with this one the first big con is that though it's a very expensive uh, product uh, it's about 32,000 here in India and guys buy it from the Unify India website because I have seen this product also on Amazon India and for some reason it's at 39,500 I know I make a commission if you buy it from Amazon but just don't buy it it's about 32,000 officially on Unify site and I think so up there uh, it's also listed as 26,000 something uh, because they are giving the GST discount because they know mostly uh, business people or very high-end users will by this uh, so again uh, that out of the point uh, but again guys I have always been using very high-end routers for my home network because normal routers just don't cut it out I have couple of uh, dozen network devices that are connected generally uh, the regular routers are okay with a dozen or so but they start conking out if you recall uh, just about last month I had purchased the TP-Link Deco X20 Wi-Fi 6 mesh network that was about 16,000 but just after five days of usage it started to conk off and couldn't handle my network and uh, I have always used high-end routers for example uh, I still have this it's one of our old uh, other location uh, this is the ASUS AC87U if I recall I purchased this for about three years ago for about 23,000 then you guys know then I moved to the mesh network uh, this is the Google uh, Wi-Fi. I still actually use that in my office. Uh, but now I started using this for the last 40 days. And let me give you an idea why this is a very, very different product. And what did I like about this product? And I could diagnose one issue that I had that was not possible with any other router. So let's have a closer look at the same now. So guys, this is the Unified Dream Machine. And as you can see, it's like a pill. This is in my uh, actually home. And uh, you see this uh, blue LED light, it has a LED light over here. That's, this means everything is fine. It also has a fan. It the fan does not come on uh, most of the time, I would say 99% of the time, but there is a fan which comes on sometimes. And it's a soft touch plastic, so nice to touch. And uh, back, if we go, we have all the ports. Your uh, power port is here, the power cable is provided. Uh, this is for your internet, it's a gigabit port. And we also have four. Uh, LAN ports and guys these are actually managed ports so you can control them um, overall very minimalistic design and you just have to note that you have this blue LED light means everything is working and you can actually control the intensity of this one through the app so let's now move to the app and see what we can do with this one and guys for the internet I am actually using the geo fiber connection uh, I downgraded the 500 megabit plan and as you can see uh, the unify uh, dream machine is over there about roughly about 10 feet let's see and geo doesn't give 500 it gives about 480 megabit on this one and uh, as you can see, we're going to max out the speeds. Uh, when I was on the gigabit, I was able to get about 520 megabit on this one. That's almost sort of the maximum that you can get on a Wi-Fi 5, uh, what do you say, uh, router. So as you can see, about 480, that's the max that Geo gives. Uh, but again, this is clear line of sight. Let's do one thing. Let's just go inside in another room, my old office setup. And there is also a door. Uh, so let's see how it performs over there. So guys, this is my old office set up in my house and uh, this is roughly about uh, 30 feet away from the router and we also have actually a door so not clear line of sight and let's see how it does. Uh, generally other Wi-Fi routers, the Wi-Fi AC and even Google Wi-Fi drop down to about 240 to 250 megabit in this uh, room. Let's see how this one does and this as you can see is doing a lot better 
roughly about 320 megabit. I've seen it as high as about 340, 350. Yes, as I've told you, 340, 350, it can go. Three, even 370, it is going. Uh, so as you can see, considerably actually better throughput, even at a distance. This is the thing that I liked about this one. It's not just like uh, uh, the throughput is good only when there is clear line of sight. Even at further ranges, as you can see, we are getting actually pretty good speeds. With most of the other Wi-Fi routers, here in this room, 240 to 260 is the max that I get. Here, as you can see, we got 370. So guys, we also get a, what is a smartphone app and you can actually control everything via this. Actually, you need to install this to set it up. It's very easy. And here you get an overview about your network and all these things, clients what are connected and all, all these things. It is even give you traffic statistics, how much you have used data and all these things. Uh, but uh, I found that going to the web interface via computer actually does offer us a lot more info this is the web interface that you would uh, see and as you can see this gives us a lot of uh, information about our latency throughput and everything and this is divided into two the 2.4 gigahertz and the uh, 5 gigahertz as i've told you this router also supports the dfs bands hence i'm able to uh, have my 5 gigahertz on the 60 uh, megahertz uh, band and here it gives us wi-fi metrics uh, you can also go to the overview and you get an idea about what's happening on your network utilization and all those things uh, uh, it also if you click over here you get statistics and this gives an overall idea what uh, is happening on your network for example here as you can see in Netflix we use 16 gigabytes YouTube but I won't say this is 100% accurate because what it does is it puts a lot of things in this uh, unknown also over here and uh, but the thing is that device wise you can get an idea what is using what and if you go over here it gives you an idea about this like tree style uh, what how the devices are connected we, these are the actual devices connected as of now but if you want to see uh, these are the clients that are connected as of now with their ip addresses and all those things uh, but if you can go you go to insights this uh, give, list gives you all the devices that are currently connected and as you can see a lot of devices are here and here you can sort them by the amount of data for example let's do that i'm going to do this uh, by and uh, as you can see the samsung 8k tv that i was testing consume the most of the data then my 4k tv uh, this is the msi laptop so again uh, using this as you can see you can get an idea about the devices uh, uh, how much data they were consuming and if you have any problem in fact you can drill down to see uh, for example this is my daughter's phone if i click here yeah it gives an idea about the wi-fi experience uh, she was having uh, we also have the device fingerprint and i can look at the statistics to get an idea the current uh, signal how much is the transfer rate i'm getting this is this i can get in real time and we can also go to this this is deep packet inspection and here you can individually uh, drill down what are the apps that that particular user was using for example uh, uh, I, it uh, puts this QIC I feel the Facebook stuff and all those things also in this uh, so you can get into details about it and you can again click on the detail and here you can exactly drill down and get an idea what that actual user was using any social uh, network etc so you can go really deep into this one uh, using this insights uh, you get a lot of information here it gives an idea about our uh, dream machine but if you click on this channel utilization i find this to be the most important again it's divided in 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz band and again uh, the, the 2.4 is always congested uh, if you look in uh, urban area and here it gives you in real time idea about the airwaves what is happening as you can see it's highly like congested on the 2.4 gigahertz band but my 5 gigahertz is acceptable and this gives this is very important this gives in real time idea uh, the state of uh, the particular band that you're using this is very very important and this came very handy to me uh, i uh, got the new uh, what do you say samsung uh, soundbar it's a very high-end uh, atmos soundbar that has its own wi-fi network to connect to the rear speakers and that was actually creating a problem on my wi-fi network but using this i could actually figure it out and uh, and actually fix it and again you have control over of, of course uh, you go to the settings configuration you can 
have advanced control over the radios and everything what you want as i've told you i'm actually using the dfs channel which is actually supported on this router so you have a lot of uh, options over here and overall stats also if you want again if you are a person who loves stats you will really like this uh, router apart from this again uh, it also has threat management uh, and i enabled it luckily uh, for me uh, I did not have any threats as you can see if you have it will actually identify uh, uh, the threats from which country it is uh, coming but luckily uh, no threats that I got uh, it also has traffic logs for any threats again as I didn't have it I don't have it uh, we also have endpoint scan so if any specific ports are open unnecessary ports it will give you the IP address and tell you uh, the uh, ports that were open and you can also even set honeypot on this one and apart from that these are the regular settings that you find on your router again you can add your hotspot etc I didn't add that you can also add multiple guest networks to this one and uh, you can have groups uh, you can have Wi-Fi shared again anything that you think that you'll have on your router here you will have it in a overkill manner I would say again as I told you this is an important thing uh, it has IDS and intrusion uh, prevention system and I've kept it on custom and here you can uh, actually uh, customize it again this is threat uh, management and the good thing is that this router is very powerful because it's having a quad core processor and two gigabytes of ram uh, it handles all this uh, thing without any issues even if you have a gigabit connection even after enabling all these things this is real-time protection uh, uh, it can sustain speeds up to 850 megabits uh, we have dns filter so again a lot of things i won't get into all of this this will take half an hour if i do that but Overall, as you can see, it gives you an idea about your network and using the channel scan and all these things, uh, you can actually uh, figure out if you have any problem, it is very easily you can figure out what is the problem and modify the channel or move to another channel and stuff like that. Uh, we have also have AP site uh, a RF environment and if I uh, press this, it will scan the uh, environment for RF channels which are so again these are some of the advanced features that you generally don't find on other routers uh, again as I've told you it's a managed port you can manage the ports and all this so again as I've told you a lot of information that you have if you're sort of a power user what is happening on your network you'll exactly know any issues over here it'll uh, give you an idea for example uh, low signal strength the high TCP uh, any network is having problems so you get all these details over here so guys to summarize this is actually a pretty powerful wi-fi router as you saw and also in terms of raw specs i didn't talk about it earlier it's actually a pretty fast uh, router it has two gigabytes of uh, internal uh, ram on this generally even high-end routers have 256 gigabyte uh, sorry mb or about 512 so it has a lot more actually ram and also internal storage is about 16 gigabytes and it has a quad core processor based on the arm cortex a57 so again very powerful in terms of hardware also uh, but again what i've noticed is that uh, in my usage is that it does run actually pretty hot uh, uh, with my infrared uh, temperature gun as you saw temperatures were hovering around 46 to even for about close to about 50 degrees celsius but again during the last 40 days of usage i did not notice a problem though uh, if you touch it it is definitely hot and i did notice that it also has fans on it sometimes only sometimes just about one or two percent of the times the fan also comes on so that is what i have noticed apart from that again uh, the second con uh, as i mentioned it's not wi-fi 6 still wi-fi 5 but again one of the best wi-fi 5, 5 it's actually a wave 2 4 by 4 mimo so this is the best uh, wi-fi 5 uh, router that you can get and also has support for that dfs bands which is generally not found on most of the routers so that way it is good but again it's an expensive router and as i've told initially also and you saw that this is not a router if you're just sort of a casual person it might be sort of an overkill uh, but again if you have a complex network or a lot of devices a couple of dozens of devices in your house and you are never happy with your existing Wi-Fi solution then uh, this might solve it and also I feel apart from that uh, if you are sort of a medium-sized business also small business uh, then also you can have a look at uh, this one and guys as I have mentioned earlier also uh, don't buy it from Amazon India for some reason the pricing is 39,500 but officially on this uh, Unify website it's for about 31,600 or something like that anyways guys uh, that's it for now thanks for watching this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my 
next video. Take care, guys.